dogs I raised myself from, um, I did a rod, uh, racing bloodline. It is, right now I have a 10 dog hitch on there. I'm going to be taking a section off. The gang line comes in sections. So you can hook up as many dogs as you want. So if you ever flip over, you got to hang on really tight. So the long ones are called the tug lines, and they go to the back of the dog's harness. Fighting gloves. They go to the back of the dog's harness, and then the short ones are called necklines, and they go to the dog's collars. The leaders are going to get attached right here, and I always run two leaders. I always have somebody that's pretty good with commands and somebody who's learning. We also have this ice hook which rides right about here and this is used, come on over here, you're on the trail, let's get that over here. I, I always have it with me. If I'm by myself and I have to stop my dogs, I'll put my hook in like that and then I'll take my sled and I'll turn it over like that. And then this is the break. When I want to stop, I'll put both feet here. It's a little bit harder out on that ice because it, it doesn't grab as well, but two feet right here. So I'm going to get the dogs out now. They'll, they usually make a lot of noise. This is Tucker. He's a lead dog, but he's been getting tired of the trail here. This. It's like this, and then it goes over the head. Nose comes out. And then you got to hold the leg next to the body. If you yank it out, you're going to pull a muscle. So, I hold. So the leader's job, one of their jobs is to keep this line out. Keep it tight. Line out, good girl. Stay. Stay. This is Cracker. And he came from a sprint kennel. Can you see the greyhound in him? He's got a short coat. He's, uh, he was bred to just lope and do 20 to 30 miles an hour. And with this guy, when you take him, pull the collar out, you can take him up there and hold him on his back legs. Um, it's like taking him out of four wheel drive. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll drag you all over the place. So you can, he knows how to hop. Can, I don't know. Yeah, he's going to go right behind the leaders in the swing position. Black dog for one at one
Oh, this is the Tanana River, the largest tributary of the Yukon River. Uh, the, the ice not right now, and it's about, about 50 inches thick. All right. Off to the left, we're coming up to Howard Luke's Fish Camp, who's an Athabascan elder, who's an icon in this town. A lot of the land trails now are down to, there's a lot of dirt on the many areas of them. Marfa, hi. Now what they're doing is because they're hot, they're trying to bite some snow to cool oh. down. So I'll go up a little ways and then we'll stop for a minute and let them bite and roll.